All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to put some graffiti on a wall in Blender and have it layered pretty nicely. Um, this isn't a texturing tutorial because it's not really texturing. It's more like putting text on a wall. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> okay, so let's move this up, and we are just going to scale it so that it's just the size of a wall really quickly here. I don't want anything fancy. I just want to show you guys the quick purpose of how to do this, and I'm just going to scale this on the x-axis just to make the size of a wall here. And for the purpose of this, we're just going to use an image texture. So I'm just going to go into my shading, and I'm going to add in a quick image texture. So we're going to go to Add. Uh, texture and image texture and I'm just gonna plug it into here and open it up and I found on my desktop a or online a nice concrete wall image that I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna go into UV editing mode and we're gonna select this side right here and I'll just zoom out so I can see what I'm doing and rotate it and scale it on the X and scale it on the Y. And we'll just move it down. And we'll just go to this mode so I can see what I'm doing. I've already done this, so I know what it's going to look like. And that's what it looks like. Bam, a wall is done. Now let's go over to here. And we'll just set this so that it's rough, because there's no such thing as a glossy wall. And we will start adding in some text. So we're just going to go Add and Text. And let's move it to the front of our wall, G. Uh, X just so it's in the front and we'll go to snapping tool here and face so that it's hitting our face here and we're just going to snap it to the wall um, right there that's fine because what we're going to go do right here is we're going to set in the geometry and extrude of let's just go I don't know on the offset 0 0.004 I think is what I did and we're just going to bring it out a bit so we can see oops sorry not on the offset on the extrude 0 0.004 is what I meant to say and that's gonna extrude it a bit and we're just gonna put it into the wall halfway like that and now we're just gonna go into edit mode delete this right here actually I'll just type in blender uh, 2.8 and for this purpose, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, defont.com. And if you want pre-made tags for each letter that you hit on your keyboard, you're, you'll want to use this one right here. Um, but it doesn't have a lot of drips on them, I noticed, on these styles. But uh, there's more than just these ones as well. There's like every single key on your keyboard is a different tag. So um, what you see here on this graffiti tags by woodcutter is not the only ones that he has. If you click on it, you can see a whole bunch of them. Um, and he's, he's got a, quite a few. There's actually quite a few good ones. So you can, you can use this one, which is actually quite convenient if you want to set up a wall really quickly in Blender. And you don't want to have to type out every single word for every single thing you're going to put on the wall. This is, the, this is how I would suggest doing it because it's really quick. Um, the other way of doing it would be to type type it out each word. Um, it's a little longer, and that is by using this font right here that I use, uh, Font Urban Calligraphy. But you can go on defont.com. They got lots of different graffiti fonts, and check out which one is you like. But I found these ones look the best. This one here, and these ones here. And I deal with a lot of fonts because I'm mainly a graphic designer, so I have over too many fonts actually to tell the truth okay so let's go right here and we're gonna go to our font right here this letter a and we're gonna go find the font panel and we're gonna open up on the desktop wherever we save those fonts I was just talking to you about and I'm gonna open up graffiti tags for this purpose and obviously I typed in blender 2.8 so that's not gonna work so let's just type in one letter um, letter G or letter C cool jazz there we go and we're just gonna go straight on and just scale it so we can see what it looks like and we'll just move it up and we'll give it a quick texture just so that it's not blah and I'll just make it a bit dark there we go that's good and you definitely don't want it to be super um, shiny so we're gonna turn the roughness up a bit and, 
and what we're going to do is just duplicate it on the X or on the Y axis and you go back into edit mode and this is the beauty of this you can set it up really quickly it's just the letter F or the letter V or whatever you want it's just so quick to set up because they're already pre-made if you want that sort of thing for the one font that I was talking about but if you want the other font you can choose that one and, and write your own um, but yeah it's great you can just quickly write whatever you want on the on the wall so we're just gonna do this one right here graffiti and we'll just give it a different color so it looks somewhat different do 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 let's go into object mode and we'll just get rid of that and we'll give it a new material quickly here let's give it a dark a dark color and we want to move this so that it's not on the same level here so we're just going to slightly go gx or gy i think it is, or x sorry that's exactly what it is and we just want it slightly behind that one so if we wanted to layer them properly we can just start doing that as you can see there's no artifacting going on when we do this and we look and we look at it so now you got some layered graffiti you can even go do another layer by just shift D Z and go into edit mode really quickly here make a new tag uh, there it's today there we go and we're just gonna go into object mode give it a new color so that you can see that it's a new layer and we'll just give it a maybe a brighter color something like that and we'll move this one on the y-axis and we'll move it up and maybe we want this one on top of the other one so what we can do is just I'm gonna press period to reset my view here is press G X and we're gonna bring it just slightly on top like that and now we have three different layers all on top of each other you can or not all on top of each other but all on different layers here but on looking like it's on one layer and so for I'm gonna show you this purpose right here we're gonna move these all to the right here just so I can show you this how I how I cut stuff off with graffiti and how I made it possible so what you're gonna do when you when you want to start doing graffiti near the edges and have it cut off what I did is you would select the ones that are near the edge and you turn them to a mesh so you convert to mesh right here right click it convert it to a mesh and then in edit mode what I did is I went over here and I just took my knife tool and I just cut it exactly where or pretty close let's start it over again where that wall starts and press enter and we're gonna do the other side as well and we're just gonna cut it really quickly just cut it and then go back to it on the front view here and we're gonna delete all the information which we don't need which would be everything I'm pretty sure on this side just like that and now you have your letters hitting the edge and sometimes what happens is you can't always delete vertices because you'll get weird problems and in that case you would want to manually go in and move do the knife tool like I showed you and then manually move if there's any existing vertices on the outside move them over like this in edit mode but make sure you're in wire or wireframe so you can see what you're doing and then you can just move those over if you wanted to move them over like let's say for instance um, like you had a bunch that were like this on the side and you wanted to just move those over I would just do it like that and no one's gonna be able to tell the difference literally for graffiti it just doesn't matter and we're just gonna go like that and just it, it for this purpose it's it's perfect like you can be as sloppy as you want and no one will be able to tell unless you're like zooming really far in which most people aren't when they're creating a scene with buildings and graffiti and, and a nice environment it just yeah so that's how I really did it 
and that's the quickest way to do it. You can fill up a whole wall really, really quickly. So hope you enjoyed it and hope you got something out of it. And uh, maybe I'll do some more tutorials in the future if you guys like this one. Thanks.